Look at this carefully. Lifting, dropping. Following a triangle shape or movement. Aim your mind at the foot until you're pressing down on one side and then again note the lifting, dropping. Lifting, dropping, lifting, dropping. You must do this slowly. In meditation, we have to practice walking meditation in a slow manner. The main principle is that you must do it slowly and aim your mind on the slow-moving meditation object. Aiming needs accuracy. You will need two factors of aim and mental energy. When you lift your foot up, your mind must be fully focused on the lifting in a very straightforward manner. Thus, it is important that you apply aim and piercing energy. Slowly aim and piercing with awareness. With these factors involved, there is no reason that you cannot come to know the Dhamma here and now. Moving slowly will give you the chance to see clearly. If you move quickly, you won't be able to see no matter how hard you try. Even if you are moving slowly, yet you do not look properly, you also won't see anything. Let's say a person passes you by very quickly. The only thing you will know is that someone passed, but you won't know much else because they are moving quickly. If, on the other hand, they move quickly or they move slowly and you are gazing and not paying attention, you will also not come to know anything. Only if that person is moving slowly and you are paying careful attention then you will know as much as you care for. Details such as features of the face, the clothing, and so on will easily be known. The same analogy can be applied here, and there is nothing to rush for. Group activities, such as going to the dining hall, is an exception since you cannot be too slow in walking. When you go back to your room, however, that is your own time. You can take that as slow as you want. It doesn't matter if you reach the Dhamma Hall a little late if you walk slowly, but you must be practicing respectfully, not superficially. During your stay in the Dhamma Hall and the time you come back from the Hall, these are also your own time. There is no reason to be rushing at these times. You can do the two-step slow walking meditation like this lifting placing lifting placing lifting placing like this when reaching to the end you can note standing standing five times with your eyes closed. While walking, do not close your eyes because it may arouse fear of hitting something or doubt of losing track, etc. With this fear and doubt, your concentration will be weakened. That's why you have to do walking meditation with your eyes open. Also, do not bend your head down. You will close your eyes once you're at the end of the path and do the standing meditation noting for about five times followed by turning and again noting the standing meditation for about three notes whenever you reach the end of the walking pad you will do this do not think that the standing meditation is not necessary some yogis think that standing is interrupting their walking meditation but this is not the case. We have activities like walking, standing, sitting, and lying down. Whatever posture you are in, try not to miss any noting. Yogis usually miss noting when standing up after a sitting session. 
Their concentration is interrupted when they stand up. They sit again to build it up, and after that, it is dropped once again when standing up. In cases like these, they never develop sufficient concentration. The Vipassana practice is not like this. You have to have momentary concentration, moment after moment in a continuous manner. When you bend your finger, aim your mind on the bending. It is just a moment that the noting mind is on the bending itself. This moment is called momentary concentration. It seems a little or no strength in each momentary concentration. However, collecting many of these moments, moment after moment, there is a lot of power. The noting in one movement and another and so on. If the noting is continuous, stronger concentration is built up to see the true nature of that process. This Vipassana method is using momentary concentration. It is essential that one moment of noting be connected to the next moment as much as possible. You should not choose the postures as in, I would prefer noting and sitting. Try to note well in all the postures in such a way that whatever you are doing, mindfulness and noting is always there. This is very important to understand. That's why standing meditation and noting of standing should be done in the turning process. In this way, you will go left step, right step for 20 minutes, lifting, placing for another 20 minutes, then lifting, moving, placing for another 20 minutes. In the two and three step noting, you have to do a little halt in between each movement before you make the next step. This halt is to give yourself time to see what is happening when the foot is lifting and also dropping. You will not be stepping continuously like this. Be careful. In three-step noting here, lifting, holding up the foot there, moving forward, forward is actually stepping, a halt, and then placing or dropping. Do you understand? Do not care about reaching some destination. Stick to your own place. Lifting, stepping, placing, lifting, stepping, placing. Add a small hesitation between each movement. Hold it there. Do not drag it immediately. Lifting, hold it there, stepping, placing, lifting, stepping, placing. A halt may come after lifting. At first, there may be slight swaying as you are balancing your body. This can be overcome with more practice. Have you seen a toddler learning to walk? It's just like that. Later on, one knows how to balance. So don't worry about swaying or any balancing problem you may experience at first. You will definitely get over it. As mentioned before, the three-step noting should involve standing meditation at each end of the path. Okay, to summarize, when in walking meditation in the Dhamma Hall, you will start by noting left step, right step for the first 20 minutes, then lifting and placing or lifting and dropping for the second 20 minutes. And this will be followed by the lifting, moving and placing for the final 20 minutes. Together, these add up to one hour. You may also do each for 15 minutes or so. What's important here is moving slowly with everything you do. When you go to the washroom, for example, don't rush, but instead go slowly with mindfulness. Movements like opening and closing of the door and all activities should be done with mindfulness. Note the opening of the door as opening, opening. 
it is essential that the noting mind is on your hand that is opening or closing the door. Then you will walk back to your sitting place, moving mindfully and noting left step, right step, left step, right step, and so on. When you reach the place next to your mat, note standing, standing. Do this for a couple of minutes. When you do this, there may be some tension and stiffness in the legs. After this, you will have to prepare your hands. Aim at your hand in the changing position. If your hand is moving, note moving, moving, moving. You can also note as preparing to sit. If your hands are at your back, note, moving, 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 moving. Follow the movement of the hand and note. Keep your hands to each side. After that, note as sitting, sitting. We use the labeling term sitting but your mind will be focusing on the knees where the most obvious weight bearing is occurring. If you want to be sure, try to see this for yourself now. Will you stand first and sit? Stand up very slowly first. Now you will get up slowly. Pay attention to your body and find the most obvious point where the straining is occurring. Where is it? At the knee, isn't it? Some yogis have remarked that they could not make any insight progress. But it's not surprising because they don't note anything when they're changing their posture. If you pay attention, look in detail, you will know everything in one sitting. Thus, sit down very slowly slow as you go stage by stage. You can simply label as sitting in your mind. Focus on your knees, place your hands aside here, here it is, sitting, 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 sitting. If you want your hand to support, move your hand here, withdrawing, withdrawing, to make support, supporting, supporting. Every movement must be noted slowly with strong mindfulness. A similar method should be applied when getting up, getting up, getting up, or standing, 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 and so on. Do it in a step-by-step -step approach. Every sitting and standing we should do in this manner. Focus your mind on the knees and let me explain why. After practicing walking meditation for an hour, there will be heat in your leg joints and in muscles resulting from the blood flow. If you sit right away, this heat has no chance to come out. As the heat flows upwards in your body, you will feel heat and warmth in your face with a feeling of drowsiness, thus losing energy. That's why we do standing meditation for a few minutes, as all the heat will be collected. When you sit in the step-by-step -step approach, later with practice, you will see the heat radiating from your knees. You will not see this in the beginning. However, you may feel light and clear by doing this before sitting. Well, this is the physical aspect. 
Now let's talk about the Dhamma.